This video is brought to you by Gary, the most versatile robot in the world for your home or business. Details in the description. Ask a kid to make a list of the coolest things in the world, and the list will probably include dinosaurs, ninjas, and robots. There is just something about robots that makes them inherently cool. They look cool, they sound cool, Roger, Roger. and best of all, they do whatever you tell them to do without asking why. They just do it. Here I am, brain the size of a planet, and they ask me to take you up to the bridge and call that job satisfaction because I don't. But while we think of robots as a modern invention, if we go back 50 or 100 years, people were talking about robots even back then. In fact, the word robot was first used 102 years ago, and before that, we just used to call them automatons, and we have been calling them automatons for thousands of years. So does that mean robots were around for thousands of years? Or is that just a myth? Well, the first stories about living machines were definitely myths. And we know that because they come from, you know, mythology. Egyptian mythology included statues that moved, and Greek mythology has quite a lot of robotic entities. One of them was Talos, a huge bronze automaton that used to patrol the shores of Crete and protect it from pirates. These and other mythical creatures were obviously not real, but it shows that the idea of a living machine is pretty much as ancient as society itself. However, it will take a few more centuries before actual automatons will begin to appear in the real world. The Greek inventor Tisibius used the power of water and compressed air to make the gardens of Alexandria seem like a magical place, with automatic doors, singing metal birds, and even the first cuckoo clock. And sure, these were not actual robots, but they were inanimate objects that could move and perform tasks without human intervention. However, it seems Tisibius was way ahead of his time because it will take a few more centuries before automatons became widespread. During the 18th century, automatic machines became quite popular as inventors and watchmakers started making intricate machines to amuse audiences and to show off their skills. And some of these were absolutely amazing. Take for example this automaton that was recovered from a fire in the 1920s yet it can still draw four different pictures and write a few poems without any human intervention, other than, obviously, winding them up like a clock. For a machine made in the 1700s, this is absolutely amazing. Actually, this is incredibly impressive even compared to something made in the 21st century. And this is not an anomaly. During the 18th and 19th century, the complexity of the automatons kept growing and reaching new heights. Some of them could dance, some could play the flute, and there was even a very popular automaton of a duck that could… poop. Because why not? The late 19th century was considered the golden age of automatons, but when the 20th century came, we stopped calling them automatons and started calling them wind-up toys. They stopped being a marvel of technology and became mass-produced disposable playthings. But at that point, with the invention of the cinema, the place of the automaton was taken by the robot. Robots have been there since the early days of cinema, fulfilling their original purpose of being mythical creatures. Only this time, they usually arrive from space with the clear goal of killing us all. And of course today we have actual robots, building our cars and cleaning our homes. So were ancient robots real? Well, that largely depends on your definition of what a robot actually is. If it's just a moving statue, then yes, those were around for thousands of years. But if it's an independent, walking, talking, thinking machine, well, those are definitely a very recent invention an invention we will be talking about in detail on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Until next time, stay curious.